Well, Steve, it's been a pleasure. Transcripts look good. Extracurriculars are more than enough. Your teachers gave you glowing recommendations. And uh, I guess if I have one last question, what is it about you specifically that makes you want to come to college? If I'm being honest, dude, you were too young to get married. I know you're sick of hearing it, but it's true. Tim, can we just sit here, please? Okay, okay. I, I didn't mean to meet the love of my life the first week of college. No, no one does. It's not like I planned for that to happen. I just felt this pressure to create an identity for myself or something, and then ended up making it all about her. I, it feels like, you know, first I was Steve, and then I was Bethany Robertucci's boyfriend, and now I'm nobody. You're not nobody, all right? Oh, really, Tim? Who am I, okay? My life is a giant metaphorical question mark. I spent the last four years in college, and I have nothing to show for it. All right. What if I told you you could do it all over again? Do you remember the day I walked into your office and handed you a check for $500,000? You promised me a 50% return Hello? while I sat there like a fucking idiot and believed all your fucking bullshit. Harold? Harold? Harold, shut the fuck up, dude. You fucking sit in your Fifth Avenue little plush little apartment while you dial numbers and you take your 2 and 20 commission and shove them both straight up your fucking ass. <laughs> Jerk! I'm sorry! Jennifer! Come back! Hey, you still have my shirt on! Oh well. Hey, you must be Steve. Yeah, Tim's brother. Nice to finally meet you, man. Val! Hey, let me ask you a question. Which kitchen appliance was it this time? It was the toaster. 
the toaster? Crap! Dude, I love that toaster. It's a nice toaster. Did you just get here? Yeah, sorry, I just... Dude, come on, man, we got your room upstairs. Okay, great. Let's go. All right. This is your new room. Not too shabby. Andre, meet your new roommate. Hello, can you hear me? So diligent. Andre. Oh. What the hell, man, what's up? I'm sorry. Scared the shit out of me, dude. Who the hell is this? This is Steve. Oh, oh, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Hey, hey, Steve. Good to meet you. So, uh, what are you working on? You want to explain this shit or should I? Well, little Andre here has a degree in electrical engineering and computer science from MIT with a specialty in scientific data. I scouted him out myself to build our database. Database for what? Well, I'm glad you asked, Steven. Let me hit you with some numbers real quick. This school has roughly 25,000 students, and out of those 25,000 students, 14,583 are female. Now, if we throw a house party with, let's say, 150 attendees, hitting that two to one girl to guy ratio, one can only hope that 100 of those females are the finest this school has to offer. And I have to say, over the past several years, it has certainly felt that way. But, how can you be sure? I mean, is Primrose really reaching its full potential? Yes? No, Steve. The answer's no. But that's about to change. It's like change. Wow. Now that is a powerful word that we don't hear used too often. You know, I believe Martin Luther King Jr. once said- Jesus Christ, bro. Gentlemen, shooters will be open in 18 minutes. Let's go. Strap your fanny packs on, boys. We're going drinking. My bitch got a. So, Andre, were there a lot of uh, African Americans in your computer science program? You know, it's not racist to call a black person black, right? Really? I didn't know that. Did you know that? <laughs> so, were there many blacks in the program? How much do you know about the house I lived in the last four years? Um, the one on Primrose? Yeah, that one. Um, it was you and a couple buddies. Uh, what was it? Oh, you were a teacher's assistant. Um, and you bartended on the weekends. Am I missing something here? God, I, I wish I could have told you this sooner. Tell me what? For the last four years, I was a member of a secret society. Come on, Tim. Oh, I need I, help. I, this is not making me feel better, okay? Dude, I'm serious. And I, I need you to listen to me right now, all right? Yeah. yeah. When I finished my undergrad four years ago, just like you right now, this guy approached me on campus. It was like, I don't know, one of the last days I was there. And he knew all about my connections around campus, all my ties to the bars around school. And he knew about all the promotions that I was doing. Dude, he knew everything about me. Next thing I know, he brings me to this house. And there's all these guys there, all postgraduates, all from different areas. And they asked me if I wanted to join. Join what? One house, eight guys, absolutely no school affiliation. Four more years to do whatever the hell you want. Now, yeah, members are chosen internally, but there's also legacy. That's where you come in, dude. Like, think about it. This could be your second chance to make things right and do things over and forget about Bethany. So, what do you think? Steve. 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 Let's go. Sorry. Just look at this place. On the surface, a mundane wandering hole for the collegiate student body. But to me, it's my sanctuary. That air is thick and dirty, just like the young promiscuous girls that it surrounds. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, Jessica. 
I heard Mrs. Pickles finally had that litter of kittens. Yeah, she did. You gonna stop by and visit? Oh, I most certainly will. Okay, call me later. To another year, fellas. Oh, no, no, no. We're waiting on Stoker. Why do I feel like we're always waiting on Stoker? Howdy, gentlemen. Is there, Is there a problem, problem officer? officer? Yeah, I'm gonna see some IDs from you two. Now. The balls in this guy checking IDs. He should be checking fucking Charlie Cats. Oh, ho, ho. looks like we got ourselves a potty animal here, boys. Hey, dude, that's not mine. That's Is not that, mine at all. did you bring that here? No, man. Matt Shooter, it's got possible fake IDs in the bag okay, of narcotics. Okay, the ID is not fake. My that, ID's I'm, real, that's not my drug. I'm 22 years old. Going I'm 22, that's what? not a fake I'm, ID. I'm not going anywhere, that's not my drug. Why are you guys <laughs> laughing? Can you say something? <laughs> you didn't tell me when I was a black guy, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Should've seen your face, I was all like, it's not mine. <sighs> Delaney, meet the new guys. What's going on, boys? Officer John Delaney. Honorary member of the Primrose. Hope you don't plan on drinking those beers without me, pussies. Stoker! Delaney, fellas. What's up, Billy? Who's this, Chad? Looks like a gay version of Tim. <laughs> it's his brother. Billy Stoker. Hi. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> You're cocky bastard. I'm the fucking man, dude. So, are you guys like all friends with my brother? Or? Oh, man. We miss that guy. He's the reason we're here right now, drinking for free. He certainly knew how to throw a party together. All right, are we gonna drink these beers or what, guys? Are we waiting for Penn? Yeah, I'll wait for Penn and McNulty. Are they, are they not coming? We haven't seen McNulty in what, like, two years? What's his deal? He's been here the longest and we never see him. I hear he's fucking 30. How is he? Don't, don't you have to leave after like four years? Okay guys, get this. Penn was sworn to secrecy by the last president as to why McNulty can't get kicked out. I heard he's in the witness protection program from seeing someone get murdered. I'm pretty sure if there was a murder, I would have heard about it. Yeah, and uh, Pennington's much more of the motherly type. He's like a designated driver, except we designate him to do everything. He's our bitch. <laughs> All hell, President Pennington. To the primrose. Okay. I'm gonna get the bad news out of the way first. Brian has informed me that the investment we made back in 2014 did not pay out as well as we had hoped, so there will be no bonuses for your stipends this semester. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? Eat you. shit, Brian. Sorry, guys. Right, come on, guys, settle down. Couple of rules for these two new guys. Any information about the Primrose is clearly kept under lock and key, all right? Any news about you guys spilling that information, immediate expulsion. So don't you say shit. Just messing with you, but don't. If anyone asks what your involvement is at the university, just say that you're a graduate student. Make sure to keep your story straight, though, all right? Now, on to the good news. Tonight, the annual Syllabus Week house party. <laughs> yes, baby. Look, I need go. to remind you, gentlemen, there Let's will be go. no ladies in this house under 21 years of age, okay? Fuck you. Oh, no. Hey, guys, we can, guys, we can get in a lot of trouble, you guys. Hey, let them finish. All right, Brian and I are gonna run out and get the alcohol. Val's gonna split you guys up to hand out flyers to the attendees on the approved guest list only. All right, any questions? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what is the monthly stipend? It's $2,500 before cleaning and maintenance fees for the house, all right? Anything else? Why are we handing out flyers? Why don't we slide in the DMs? Chapter 6 in Benjamin Douglas's book says that face-to-face -face interaction are and will continue to be Dude, will you stop fucking quoting that book? Yo. Who's Benjamin Douglas? Benjamin Douglas is not only the CEO of a Fortune 500 company and a member of the Primrose class of 2006, but he happens to be a personal hero of mine, He right? got accused of having sex with his male secretary. That is a dirty, <laughs> filthy rumor and you know it! Oh, definitely have. I mean, I'm out of here. Come on, man. I'm sorry, Penn. Who has a male secretary? I don't know why I decided to join. Probably because I haven't reached my peak yet. You know, both mentally and physically. Believe it or not, I was kind of a loner in high school. Then I watched all the cool kids graduate and, you know, get these jobs in these cubicles and they were punching numbers for the man. Miserable. But they had their day in the sun. Now it's my turn. What about you? Um, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to make up for lost time or something. Just trying to figure stuff out. Exactly, exactly. 
I mean, who says at 22 we gotta get a job and start paying off our student loans while we're living in our parents' basement or worse off with a significant other? You know, they sit there and they say life is short, but I mean, you and I, we're probably gonna live until we're 90. At least. I mean, that's a long fucking life. I mean, they just expect us to hop into adulthood after 17 years of academia? Why, because everyone else is doing it? I don't know, man. I, I just have like this fear that if I'm the last one to grow up, and I'm gonna alienate myself or something, you know? Do you ever feel like that? Like the world is just moving on without you? Who put such a high premium on everyone else? I mean, maybe they're wrong. Maybe we're the ones doing it right. Yeah, but do you not even feel like a little bit bad, like lying to everyone? No, I don't. And neither should you. Steve, this is an opportunity, man. An opportunity to look back on your 20s and, and say I did the best I could with what I had. I think Conway Twitty said that. I don't know. I Like, I get why Tim was in the criminals. Like, he... Tim had something to offer, you know? Tim was talented, I'm, I'm just Tim's brother. I'm the brother of a brother, I'm a legacy. I, so what? What do you mean, so what? I, are you not sensing like the major anti-legacy bias around here? Look, some of these guys are gonna guilt you for getting a free ride into this place. <laughs> yeah. But the whole purpose of Primrose is to have no purpose within its walls at all. Because you're gonna graduate in four years and then what? Primrose was founded because times were changing. It no longer made sense to graduate and put a tie on every morning, rinse and repeat. It was about getting stuck in the middle. You know, not growing up too fast. Take the time that you have here and try to figure out who you are. And for God's sakes, man, try to have some fun. Because even though we're all so different, we all have one thing in common. We love to fucking party. I mean, after all, we're just a bunch of men institutionalized by the temptation of booze and barely legal women. And look, whether you did it before in college or you didn't, for some divine reason, we get to do it all over again. By the way, who actually comes to these parties? I heard they invented beer pong in the 80s. Is Billy Stoker single? They had an orgy with a women's softball team. I heard one night they took home every waitress at Hooters. <laughs> one time, I came to a party here, and the girls that were at the party, three of them were Kennedys. What? The last time I left the Primrose House, my finger smelled like the Charles River. Believe you me. One time I almost peed my pants there. I did. Who wants to see Officer Delaney chug a beer? Oh, 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 no. You have a domestic disturbance at 843 Primrose Lane. Oh, shut up, shut up. Do you copy? Cat 242, Officer Delaney. I'm on it. You dumb bitch! Let's go! <laughs> Stoker! This is my cousin Jiggy, he's from New York, the comedian. Yo, what's up, dude? Let's have this funny man a beer. Let's drink, bruh! I don't even know, man. Like, Beth and I, we were best friends. And here, for example, there was this one night. We were watching the cooking, or no, we were watching the Food Network, and this recipe for split pea soup came on. And we just, we just gave each other this look, and we were like, oh, we need to go. So we found this place, it was like three hours away, and we just drove. We just got up right then, we drove three hours, and we ordered split pea soup. And in the middle of eating it, I realized, I even like split pea soup. I fucking hate it. But it didn't matter, because it was something that we did together. That's beautiful, man. The alpha female is a strong, majestic female. And she often intimidates those around her. But she is not afraid to ask for what she wants. 
Honestly, my mom always says that you can tell if it's a love story if you look at it in reverse, right? And I and I have like probably a billion times, and I just can't see where I did anything wrong. Like I, I, I was always faithful. I was always a good listener. I was always attentive. It was, Ask yourself, how bad do you want it? Can you taste it? You're a great guy, bro. Yeah, I know. I guess what I say is true. Nice guys really always do finish last. I love you. Thanks, bro. I love you too. You're a great listener. Thanks, dude. You're a great listener. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I had it rough. My coach kind of fucked me over, otherwise we went number one overall. I gotta go find my friend. Are you gonna fuck me or no? Up dating when you're such a skinny guy, not a lot of people understand that. I brought this girl on a date, brought her back to my apartment, took my shirt off. She was all impressed. She was like, Ooh, I've never been with a guy with a 12 pack before. I'm like, Those are my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Han shot her from under the table. Bow. <laughs> and in the edited version, it was Greedo and Han straightforward. And then in the original edited version, it was just Greedo and Han straightforward, but Han reacted to it so fast, it was like he wasn't even realistically looking at the. Oh. Dude, you see those two asses right there? Wow. That's nice. Hey, by the way. Isn't Stry's salary from MIT like a million dollars? Yeah, something like that, man. So why are you here? What? Have you seen the girls at MIT? No. Just nothing but Chinese girls with no titties and no ass. Might as well be fucking a Chinese dude. Guys, we're gonna need to see you in the kitchen for a moment. First one around the block is the diaper racing champion. Okay? On Delaney's mock. Go! <laughs> All right, guys, let's go inside. He remembers anything. Yeah, just that way. How are you feeling? You. Hi. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How am I alive right now? How did I get here? You may have jumped out of the moving car and then fell asleep on the pavement. Oh shit, was that your car? That's her ex-boyfriend's. He's an asshole. Okay, um, well, I kinda got Shit. it. Shit, what's wrong? My dad just texted me. He wants me to come overnight to bond with Cheryl. 
No. We have that thing. I know, but you got me those jeggings and they make my ass look really good. So I gotta go. He can go with you. No, he's probably busy. Steve, is it? Yeah. Fallon here goes to this ridiculous bar every Friday and I usually go with her because I'm such an awesome friend. So I can't let her go alone in good conscience, but you could go with her. What do you say? Sure, yeah. I... Great, it's settled. Yay. Um, I'm... do you have clothes I could borrow? I'm telling you, everything leads back to a boner. What do you mean everything? Like any subject matter leads back to a boner. Anything. Give me an example. How about this napkin? I bust on it. Uh, fair enough. So, Steven, we noticed you never made it home last night. Yeah, I stole a car. Oh. Wow. That's pretty bad. Dude, if you still have that, we should soak in hydrogen chloride ASAP. I stole a car, I drove it down the road, and jumped out of it while it was moving. I am so fucked. Hey, relax. All right, Delaney's dad's the chief of police. You're going to be fine. No. It's not fine, okay? I stole a car and drove it drunk. That's not the kind of stuff I do. Everyone gets a free pass to do dumb shit when they're in college. Yeah, I know, but we're not actually in college. Shit, 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 shit. It's so bad. It's so bad, it's so bad. What's wrong with you? You gotta come upstairs. It's not good. You gotta see this. Oh my god! I don't know what happened, man. What do I do? What do I do? Wait, what's going on? I heard yelling. Jesus, fuck! She dead? She doesn't look like she's fucking breathing, man. Brian, Brian, what, what did you give her, man? I don't know, man. I may have given her a little cocaine. I'll go get the hydrogen chloride. Brian, I warned you about this shit, man. We're going to fucking jail, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo, now that's a prank. She's a makeup artist. It wasn't even my idea. since I was like seven. God, man, I wish I could play an instrument. You know, my uncle, he played the bass guitar. He'd come over and play for my mom all the time when my dad was out of town. You know, it's crazy, like, come to think of it, I don't even know what side of the family he was related to. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, by the way, I think, uh, I think I have a date tonight. Nice, who's the girl? The girl from last night. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not following that whole situation. So you woke up at her place in a diaper, and then you carjacked her boyfriend's vehicle. Uh, Ex-boyfriend. Where are you taking her? Uh, her friend said it was like this place, like she goes to like every Friday, so. So what's the place? I, I mean, I don't know like the name. 
Uh, it's like some bar, I guess. All right, so you don't know what bar you're taking her to? No, I... Steve. Why does that matter? Steve, dude, I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. Look, the threshold for getting over someone and moving on to someone else is getting smaller by the day. I mean, you could be replaced within five minutes of her swiping while she's taking her morning dump. Hello? Hey. Yeah, hey. Um... Yeah, I'd love to go. Okay, so I'll just meet you there. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'll see you then. Bye. Hey! <sighs> you scared me? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just, I'm going to shower right now, so. Big date tonight? No, I, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, I guess. What are you, nervous? Uh, no. No, I got this. I'm not nervous. Steve, you're a weapon, Steve, come on. No big deal, you're gonna go, have a couple drinks, Order a flatbread, maybe some chicken fingers, who cares? We're just hanging out, conversation, relaxing. Conversation. What are we gonna talk about? Shit. <laughs> All right, the band is gonna take a quick break, then we'll get our next singer on stage. I, mean, I didn't think we were actually gonna stay forever. He's actually a pretty nice guy in the beginning, despite the fact that he's like this totally cool frat guy. When did you guys break up? Uh, last summer, I think May. So then last night was like a whole... Yeah, one of his many attempts to try to win me back. Gotcha, okay, that makes sense. But relationships in college are kind of a sham anyways. So, do you have any girlfriends in college? I think that we wanted two different things. I'm not in love with you. Steve? Well, sorry, what? I thought I lost you there for a minute. Yeah, no, I was just thinking. This is a really cool place. It, like, I've never heard of it before, but it does not have a college vibe at all. Yeah, no, it's nice to get out of the whole collegiate bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing here? Um, okay, I, you seem like a nice girl, and honestly, I just got out of this long-term relationship, and it just it kind of seemed like good timing, and maybe, on, it may, maybe it was I mean, a mistake. I mean, in school. Like, what are you studying? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, uh, music. It's kind of my thing. Yeah, I'm doing I, like a graduate program. I love music. That's really cool. What are you focused on? Um, songs and song like songwriting, just kind of <laughs> all. Of, all right. Yeah, it's kind of all. Live band karaoke. Next on stage is Fallon. Fallon at the stage. Did they just call your name? Did they? You totally did this on purpose. Fallon! That is so weird. We're looking, you know I should we're looking for we're Fallon. Should probably get up there. Where, Where are you at, at girl? girl? Come on. Oh, now there, there she is. is. Woo!
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Freshman Orientation. I'm your group leader, Val, and this is my subordinate, Billy. Aren't you Billy Stoker, that quarterback from Central State? Hey, aren't you that freshman nerd who's about to get his nuggets crushed? Okay, I want to start off with a few icebreakers today. So why don't we go around and we can start by sharing what our relationship is like with our father. All right, and uh, Sarah, why don't you go ahead and start us off? Hey, what's up? I didn't hear you take off this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to like sneak out. I just I didn't really know what the protocol was in that situation. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm not mad. I had a... I don't... Sorry. No, go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was just going to say I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. It was. Um... I don't usually do that on the first night. No, no, I, it's, it's fine, it was, it's all good. Um, so I'm not doing anything this afternoon. Would you want to grab food or something? Uh, I guess it depends. Uh, do you, are you doing this because you feel guilty about last night or because you actually want to see me? Both. Oh. Uh, Okay, great. Yeah, I would love to. Okay, um, I'll talk to you soon then. All right, I'll talk to you then. Bye. Hey, what's up, bud? I'm, I'm sorry. Remember me? Yeah, I'm just, I'm... Hey, Slow and steady on in vultures above. One last long highway to make it on. Hollow memory, painful to bear. With the best of my, best of my time. With the best of my, best of my mind. I think that we, we just wanted two different things. I'm not in love with you. I'm just not in love with you. I thought I was. I'm sorry. I'm not. I just, I, I can't I think do that. We wanted two different things. I'm not I'm in love with you. I can't do this. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Steve. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Steve. 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 And they're altering their faces. You know, like, they're changing the way they look. I'm just saying, like, it's fucked up. I mean, I can't put makeup on or, you know, a push-up bra, heels to make me taller. What you see is what you get. Hey, who said you can come down here? I'm sorry, I just heard the music and the door was- Piss off. You're not welcome down here. Brian. It's cool, man. Steve, grab a chair, man. We weren't welcome down here our first year. Why should he? Because those guys were colossal dirtbags, all right? And we're not. You smoke? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I love it. What's wrong with you? My dad is such an asshole. What do you do? He's hounding me about joining his firm. I'm like, hey dad, maybe I don't want to manage your hedge fund. Maybe I want to manage my own hedge fund one day. You ever think of that, dad? You know my dad's an asshole too. Why is your dad an asshole? Because he's the captain of the police department. He set me up for this job and I don't even like being a cop. It's the 
worst thing in the world, man. I'd rather just hang out with you guys every day at the Primrose. That's all I want to do. Hey, Stoker, isn't your dad an asshole, too? Sure is. Why is your dad an asshole, Stoker? He was a backup quarterback for the Patriots in the mid-'80s. Frankly, shoved football on my throat my entire childhood. I was like, hey, Dad, maybe I don't want to waste my adolescence getting chased around by a bunch of dudes. Maybe I just want to have fun. Party, you know? At least you guys know your dad. Mine was really never around. I bet if you did know him, you'd be a total fucking asshole. Thanks, man. What about you, Steve? Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, my dad is super cool, uh, really supportive, uh, understanding, just, yeah, really lucky to have him, so. You guys want pancakes? Fuck yeah. What's wrong, Steve? Let me see. Nothing. Let it's, mommy see your owie, it's, it's Steve. Nothing. Let mommy see your. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did someone here do this to you? It's. Uh, Who hit Steve? Why are you guys looking at me? I didn't do it. No. Who was it? It. It wasn't Brian. It. Steve, who hit you? It was uh. <clears throat> it's the ex-boyfriend. Are you kidding me? We're gonna take my shotgun and shove it right up his ass. Pump it. No, honestly, I, I, I kind of deserved it after the whole stealing his car thing. So. All right, hey, first of all, you didn't deserve that, okay? May I remind you that this is the same guy that was harassing your lady the other night? I mean, had you not stole his car, who knows what would have happened? Yeah, but Val, this is more complicated. You know, we can't just show up at his fraternity house and say, hey, knock, knock. Yeah. Did you say fraternity? Yeah. You know, these frat guys and their egocentric bullshit. You know, they think they run this campus, but they don't. Who runs this campus? We do, Val. That's right, we do. I mean, but aren't we kind of like a fraternity? Dude, come on. Steve, we're not a fraternity. All right, we are a society. We weren't founded on ancient Greek letters and traditions and, and frivolous handshakes. Tell us the girl's name. We're gonna plug her into the no, database. Okay. Let's get some information on the guy. No, uh, that's already getting out of hand. I'm not gonna tell you. Why? Steve, tell us her name. What's just her name? Fallon. <clears throat> her name's Fallon. Oh, I'm fired up, boys. Okay, what are you guys gonna do? This, hey, Steve, Steve, not gonna hurt him. Easy, <laughs> all right? It's totally cool, I promise. <laughs> Wow, those guys just took Brett. What was that all about? I don't know. Weird. <gasps> all right, guys. What do we got? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have Jacks. Stevie Wonder, I see you, kid. Wow, there you go. Congrats. No, 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 I got fucking pocket queens. Oh, bitch. big B. Trips. Out of nowhere. Goodness gracious. It's weird that the dealer always wins. Shut the fuck up. Hey, <laughs> Whoa. Ryan. Jeez. Relax, man. Hey, so get this. Tori McKenzie down the block. Yeah, yeah. 
out in LA right now shooting a porno. I no fucking way. knew it, dude. I swear to God. I used to blow that chick's back out and record it on my fucking iPad. Dude, you did not. <laughs> no man. way. Yeah. She dude. sucks like a champion. Oh, come on, dude. She's a good girl. No chance. You fucked a porn star. She got to fuck me. Hey, relax. <laughs> Take it down a notch. I'm the fucking man. Dude. Hey, dude, relax. Jesus Christ. Stevie. Yeah. You got any girly stories or what? Um. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I got one. Uh, so, my, this one's pretty funny. My my ex and I, we both have, all right, it's on this side. We both have freckles, like, right between our fingers. Yeah. And so, whenever we hold hands, it's like our freckles are, like, kissing. Why don't you use that freckle and fucking jerk me off? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Hey, Stoker. Oh, my God, he's going to cry, guys. It was, hey, it was a good story. Steve, it was a cute story, man. All right, well, uh, Chill out, guys. I think I'm probably just gonna head to bed. Come so on, hey, they're kidding. You can donate this to the boys, the force, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Steve, Thanks, man. Steve, no, Thanks, stay. Man. We need you. Hey, no, it's all right. I'll see you guys. Steve, have a good night, man. All right. Dude, you make fun of him and he started being a baby. He's a fucking goo. Hey, what the hell's gotten into you? I, I am so sorry. I, I, actually, I'm, I was just walking by and I saw the... must be Steve. Yeah. Uh, and I'm actually just going to be, go, probably going to bed. By all means, have a seat, man. I really don't think I should. I really, I, I honestly, no, it's, I can... it's all right. Have a seat. Shut the door. Uh. Here's fine. Yeah. So your first couple of days here, it's got to be pretty exciting, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, how did you know that I was Steve? I mean, just because I'm not around doesn't mean I'm not around, you know what I mean? How's old Timmy hanging up? Uh, Tim's good. Yeah, Tim's good. Good, good. And how are you fitting in with the guys downstairs? Yeah, I don't know, um... I yeah I guess I just haven't really been myself since uh, since I got here. But I don't know maybe, maybe that's a good thing. I tell you what that is. See those guys downstairs? They're here because they're afraid to move on, right? They've gotten a taste of the good life, and they don't want to give it up. You familiar with the story of Icarus? No. Right. Icarus was this dude in like old Greek mythology or something. He was stuck in this prison with his old man, right? And his dad had this idea of how to get him out. What he did was he made him a set of wax wings so they could fly right out that bitch, which is what they did. The issue is that he was so consumed with the fact that he could fly that he felt like a god. He was invulnerable, but he wasn't. He was just a normal dude. He began soaring higher and higher and closer and closer to the sun until, you know what happened? He went straight up towards the sun and his wings melted because they're made of wax and he crashed into the ground like a goddamn asshole. You know those guys out there? They're those assholes soaring towards the sun with wax wings on. So, wait, I'm, are you saying that I shouldn't be here? No, I'm not saying you're soaring towards the sun, man. I'm saying you're on the ground. But you're running as fast as those little legs can carry you. Can I ask you something? Yeah, man, you can ask me whatever the hell you want. Why... 
Why have you been here so long? I wish I had an answer for you, man. It's hard to have all the answers when you don't have all the questions, you know? If you've got any more questions, just go here and uh, ask for Bob. Who? He's my brother. That's right, because you're the other legacy. So Bob was a member here also. Something like that, yeah. Hello? Hi. Shoot, I didn't wake you up, did I? No, 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 I, I always wake up this early. What's up? Um, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, Casey, she went to her dad's for a couple of hours, and I was just going to see if maybe you wanted to... Um... Come over? That, that's what you were going to ask, right, if I wanted to come over? That's exactly what I was going to ask you. Um, how's 30 minutes? Actually, um, I have to drop something off at financial aid, so how's an hour? Jesus! Steve? Uh, yeah, hi. <laughs> is an hour okay? Um, an hour is, uh... Yeah, uh, an hour is perfect. I will see you then. <sighs> Where's Jennifer? I need Jennifer. Did, did we? No. Where did you come from? I need a fucking PV and J. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve-O, good hey. morning. Are you Jennifer? Yeah, that's me. What's wow. wrong, dude? You look like you just saw a ghost. Yeah, I think your friend is upstairs, so. Oh, she's still here? Yes, in my bed. Nice! No, not nice. I was trying to sleep, and then she was there playing next to me, so... Hey, bitch! Get your ass down here! Good morning, everyone. Wish I could have caught up with you guys last night, but there was an economic research and fiscal policy seminar down at the business school, so very exciting stuff. What did you guys get into? Oh, you know, we found out who was dating who on that one show, and we drank a light yet modest bottle of white Zinfandel, and we hit the hay early. <laughs> I find that almost impossible to be true. Don't forget to make those calls for tonight. Yes, sir. What's going on tonight? Jennifer, let's fucking go home. If she's here, who's running hell? <laughs> it's kind of nice, right? What? I don't know, just like the silence. You being sarcastic? No, I mean it. Like, have you ever been in a diner and you just see an old couple just sitting there not saying a word to each other? Yeah, it's sad. No, I, I don't think it's sad. I, it seems like they've just been together so long that they're perfectly comfortable and that the silence isn't scary to them. It, it's peaceful. Yeah. So what happened? With Beth? Yeah. Um, I just sort of walked in on her with another guy, so. Aren't girlfriends the worst? Uh, fiance, actually. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, getting better, for sure. Has anyone seen my flashlight? Hey, Penn, what? Hey, what you want me to do with this check, man? 
What's up, dude? Where you been? Sorry, I was on campus. Wait. Does that say $10,000 on it? Yeah. It's supposed to say $1,000, man. We can't pay out that kind of cash. Look, you gotta go back down there and have them change it, please. All right. What is all this for? This is for the annual wet t-shirt contest. I thought it was just like a regular party. Yo, Steve, can, can you help me with this shit, man? Yeah, yeah, I can help you in one second. I just need to grab some downstairs. All right. Tim, what are you doing here? Hey, well, good to see you too, little bro. No, sorry, I just wasn't expecting. They wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> Yikes, uh, easy with that. What the hell happened to you? Just uh, kind of a long story. <laughs> I bet. Do you have anything to do with, uh, I don't know, stealing cars or waking up in strange dorm rooms? Uh, it's... <laughs> Not as crazy as it sounds. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. When um, Val and Briar were telling me those stories, I couldn't believe they were talking about my little brother. The same kid would run to mom and I threw his Ninja Turtles in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> but they were. Oh, it's a... Uh, epic, epic Ninja, epic ninja Fighters. Ninja. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, man. Speaking of which, how are mom and dad? Oh, uh, they're good. I mean, they're not the best roommates, but they're good. I mean, they miss you, so... Yeah. Man. And uh, how's the job search going? It's, it's going. Nothing yet. Just got some interviews and meetings and marketing. The place looks great, though. Yeah. I just I remembered it. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, you found my guitar? I did, yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, getting back into music lately, so. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's awesome. Yeah, that's been good. Yeah. So how you uh, holding up? Guess maybe still kind of hung up on the whole Beth thing. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe if you just... Uh, just ask myself, you know, why she would do something like that. Yeah, I just, I just think... If, yeah. What? What? No, no, nothing. It's nothing. It's no big deal. Yeah, you were, you were going to say something. All right, look. You're my little brother. I love you, all right? And I'm 100% on your side. But maybe this isn't completely all on her, you know? What are you talking about? I'm just saying maybe you pushed her away. I. Tim, she cheated on me. I know, and she's a total bitch for doing that, and yeah. I, I completely agree. But I just think maybe you were a little... Too invested in the relationship. Oh my God. I, I mean, think about it. You know, when people are together that long, there's kind of like this unspoken obligation where people expect you to get engaged, which is just ridiculous. No, I did not feel. No, I, I, I mean, th and you even said it at the diner. Remember, you said she was your identity. Another person shouldn't be your identity. I mean, they should bring out the best in you, but they shouldn't define who you are. Yeah, I know. Okay. It Appreciate it from the relationship expert. Oh, right? come on. They're far from it. Tim, you haven't been around, man. Like, <laughs> where, the last four years you've been here. Where were you four years ago when Beth and I started dating? Where were you then? And what about when I finally built up the courage to ask her to marry me? What? Where were you then, Tim? I called you. I... It's not enough. I needed you. I needed my brother. And where were you? Yo, Steve, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. I, I need a second, okay? I'll, I'll be there. All right, come on, man. Look, I gotta go. I, Steve. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I know. Well, it's great to be back. All right, let's give it up for Laura. Hey, Steven, who are you texting? You're missing this. I'm meeting someone here. Wait, who? This girl. A rebound already, huh? It's not like that. We met a few days ago. Look, I, I'm happy you're moving on, but don't you think that uh, maybe you should enjoy being single for a little while? I don't know. Just some motherly advice. 
Hey, about about earlier. No, listen, I shouldn't have even. I was. Thank gonna, you. What? <laughs> Telling me what Let's I needed to hear. Okay, do it one more time. No, that is a one and done. Your other side, you did. No, this. you have to do it. I gotta get it on video. No, Come I'm on. not. I'm especially not doing it. I'm already the filming. No. You just, just go. Come on. It's more like a love bite. <laughs> but enough about me leg. Let me tell you about the rest of me. Up in the harsh never north of Australia, <laughs> lives a mighty hunter. His name, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> You call that a knife? This is a knife. <laughs> That's so dumb. That was great. Thank you. That Thank was you. genius. Are you happy now? Is I'm this... very happy. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> so, were you nervous before our date? <laughs> yeah, yes. That was a date, right? Uh, was it? I, yeah, I mean... Oh, I, I was nervous too. And I think I was wrong before. About what? Um, whenever I said that relationships in college were a scam, you know, I just, I think that I was mad about the past or something. But I'm glad that we went on our date. Yeah, me too. Steve, wake up. Steve. Oh my god. I need your laptop. Shit. I can't believe I forgot to register for this fucking class. Steve, what is this? Steve, hey. Wake up. Hey, what the hell is this? Why am I on here? No, 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 no. Fal, this is not what you think it is at all, I promise. This is a complete I am misunderstanding. I'm an idiot. See, no, this actually, Andre, if you ask Andre, he'll be able to explain Look, everything, fine. I promise. Okay. No, like, it's, he shut basically, up. he just like codes all the time. Just and Steve, he shut up, okay? Look, I tried to look past the foundation smear on your pillow and and the earrings laying right next to your bed and you know it made me feel kind of cheap but then i thought you know we just met it's fine oh um, no 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 i actually this i can explain you it's, know what no this is a classic mix-up seriously it's fine. this okay. there was a girl and she was staying look, in my bed oh yeah well it's not look, it's like fine, it, she wasn't okay? in my bed she was i'm sorry i have to go can we just talk Fallon, if you give me one second, I can explain all of I just, I, I need one second. I can explain. Okay. Look, you're probably going to spend the next few years thinking that partying and hooking up with girls is going to somehow mend your broken heart. But I'm just going to tell you that in the end, you're going to be sad and you're going to be alone. So, is everything okay with Arnold? Uh, who? Bob's brother. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, he's great. He's good. Um, I actually just had a question for Bob. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you have a seat and I'll get him. Awesome. Do you want anything to drink? No, I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Appreciate it. Sure. Be right back.
Hey. Hey. Steve, right? Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, this is gonna sound crazy. I uh, live at the Primrose house with your brother and... Uh, uh, come on, let's go in the basement. Hey guys, check it out. Mom's got ice cream upstairs. Kids are so easy to manipulate. It should be a crime. Have a seat. But the real crooks are these punks in One Direction. They split up, right? So now I gotta sit through each one of their goddamn concerts every time they're in town. It's a conspiracy. And it's bullshit. Yeah, no, I, I hear you, man. <laughs> So, how's Ronnie doing? He's doing well. Yeah, man, he's good. He tells me the house is doing well. Surprising after all these years. Yeah. So, what brings you here? Where do I start? Okay, I was engaged. Actually, before that, I was looking up at the mantle and I saw one of the pictures of all the guys at, at the party. Yeah. That same picture is hanging up in the Primrose house. Mm -hmm. Who are those guys? Those are the guys that started it with. So you're the founder? Ron um, didn't tell you any of this. No, no. I can't say I'm surprised. Ever since the accident, he has not been himself. What accident? Our parents died in a car crash. I'm so sorry, that's terrible. No, no, dude, it was a long time ago. I just got out of college, but Ron was just a kid and it hit him hard. If they didn't leave us the house, he probably would have got thrown into some foster care program. So, we were lucky. But, there's still days I definitely regret turning into the Primrose. Hey Bobby, you smoking cigarettes down there? No, I'm just <clears throat> trying to have a conversation. Can we have a minute, please? <clears throat> so, the Primrose is the house that you grew up in? Yeah. At first, me and Ronnie lived there alone for a few weeks after the accident. But it got lonely. The house is really quiet. So I had a bunch of friends move in. And uh, then the party started, and I turned my inheritance into the endowment like the stupid kid I was. Well, here we are. So then your brother, he's lived in that house. His entire life. Crazy, right? Yeah. All right, here I am telling you everything about me. You came to ask me something. Yeah, um, I think you just answered. Hey, could you settle down up there? My wife just feeds him sugar all day. She's hot, but she's not that bright. <laughs> You're all I know. You're all I see. You're all that I am Founded by the sun Followed by the moon Loneliness too soon You're all that is real Hey Steve! Your buddy Val. You all right, man? Steve.
as time goes by and love runs dry you know that I'll be like the mountain falls for the sea the mountain falls for the sea hey Beth can you come down here I have to talk to you I know you're up there, I see your car. You're all my heart. You're all you broke my heart, my you know that? And that fucking sucks. You're all it sucks so bad, and I... <sighs> I'm sorry. I am sorry that I rushed you into something that you weren't ready for, and that is my fault. So, sorry. What the fuck am I doing? And love runs dry. You know how I'll be like the mountain falls for the sea. The mountain falls for the sea. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming out. Uh, this is going to be the last song. The room is silent, I don't feel out of place. It's not like we ran out of things to say. I can see it in your face when you smile. You're saying more than words. One last question. What is it about you, specifically, that makes you want to come to college? Um, well, my dad had said that college may be the place where I meet my future wife. And that just got me thinking, the next four years are going to have such an enormous impact on everything. You know, it's this time where I'm away from my parents, on my own, making decisions for myself, trying new things, learning new things, meeting new girls. Um, I guess to answer your question, I am excited to find out who I am. Not like that, I know who I am. I'm Steve Shipley from Lexington, Mass, uh, captain of the cross country team, lover of Van Halen, both during and after the David Lee Roth years. Um, but I'm excited to find out who I'm going to be, if that makes sense. I, I want to make mistakes. I want to change my major three times. I want to step into the unknown and let go of all my inhibitions. I want to be able to look back four years from now and know that I embraced every change and uncertainty with each moment that I spend here. And that, sir, that is why. I would very much like to attend this university. And 
we were passing time, getting high with the best friends. Living life, eating vibe, learning lessons. Didn't need no struggle, we were good for life. We didn't need no place to rest. Our awfully burdened heads. Back then the air was fresh, and we were good for life. We were just kids. Let's go back, back in the day. All we ever wanted was the neighborhood thing. Big Mo slanging Lucy's to the neighborhood gang. Like four for a dollar, four for a dollar. My dude got locked on a misdemeanor. The other one shipped off to Korea. Life gets tough, getting hotter to see her. They know I'm a holler, they know I'm a holler. We were passing time, getting high with the best friends. Living life, we provide them. Didn't need no struggle, we were good for life We didn't need no place to rest Our awfully burdened heads Back then the air was fresh And we were good for life We were just kids We were just kids We were just kids Get up in love, pushing pedals on the road under Pelican Suns. Wishing I never would have moved out from that town, but it's done. It's done. Hey, yo, the chain link fences tried to border me up. You got an ice cold soda, better order me one. And always tune your life to the beat of the drum before you're old and wise. Gotta be young and